The pressure changes in ventricles during each phase of a cardiac cycle is as follows. During diastasis or before the atrial systole begins, the pressure in the ventricles is slightly above zero. During atrial systole, as the blood starts pooling into the ventricles, the intraventricular pressure slightly increases about 7 to 8 mm mercury in the left ventricle and about 6 to 7 mm mercury in the right ventricle. During ventricular systole, the intraventricular pressure rises as the ventricles contract. During this state, there is no change in the volume of blood in the ventricles. This is the isovolumetric ventricular contraction. As the pressure in the ventricles increase, reaching a maximum of 120 mm mercury in the left ventricle and a maximum of 25 mm mercury in the right ventricle, the rapid ejection phase is reached with the opening of semilunar walls. During the slow ejection phase, the intraventricular pressure reduces rapidly, reaching a lower reading than the pressure in the iota and the pulmonary artery. This pressure change leads to closure of the semilunar walls. During isovolumetric relaxation, the AV wall and the semilunar walls are closed. There is a rapid fall in the intraventricular pressure, reaching to about 2 to 3 mm mercury in the left ventricle. As the intraventricular pressure falls below the pressure in the atria, the AV walls open, followed by rapid filling. As the blood fills, the ventricles relax, which leads to a further decline in the intraventricular pressure. The cycle starts again with the pressure at diastasis. The pressure changes in atria during a cardiac cycle is as follows. Prior to the onset of atrial systole, the intraatrial pressure is slightly above zero. It is also slightly higher than the pressure in ventricles. As the atrial systole progresses, there is a steep rise in the intraatrial pressure by about 4 to 6 mm mercury in the right atrium and by about 7 to 8 mm mercury in the left atrium. Just after the atrial systole, the atrium starts to relax and the pressure starts to fall. During the isovolumetric contraction, as the AV walls bulge, there is a sharp rise in the atrial pressure. The intraatrial pressure falls steeply as the atria relax and get filled with blood during the ventricular rapid ejection phase. During the isovolumetric relaxation phase, since the AV walls are closed, the atrial pressure gradually increases. This is an opposition to the rapid filling phase of ventricles, when the blood is pumped into the ventricles. During this phase, there is a steep fall in the atrial pressure, paving way for another cycle of atrial systole. The pressure changes in iota fluctuate between 80 mm mercury and 120 mm mercury during one cardiac cycle. Similarly, the pressure changes in pulmonary artery vary between 15 to 18 mm mercury during a systole and between 8 to 10 mm mercury during a diastole.